I guess I'll just show you some of my helmets and stuff here. Uh, you know, some of our face protection. Uh, some of us, I mean, if, if it was preferred, which I know it's dangerous just to wear sunglasses uh, that aren't full sealed, I'll probably never do that. But, uh, you know, this helmet has been through various paint jobs. Uh, I didn't even take a video when I spray painted my color. I took it over to Opposing Force. They did it up for me for free. Uh, they made it like a, well, they made it in a, a really dark green, but with like a black kind of outline. Uh, they put, they redid the Velcro on there for operator cut of goggles. Uh, Velcro on the back, just in case I ever, I'm going to buy a, a AOR1 pouch that will go on the back. Uh, Velcro up top for, you know, my reverse flag. And uh, JC94, Judgment Company 94. Um, call sign patch there. Or not call sign, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, then I got my GoPro at the top there. Uh, you know, I'm, I want to get a contour. I have my GoPro for a while. This is the Hero 2. But uh, yeah, thanks to EB Games, I actually got my contour because I traded in so much. Or, GoPro. I traded in so much stuff that I got over 200 bucks to buy a GoPro. Uh, now me and Eric wear those helmets. Those are the Mitch 2000s. Um, Jimmer does have a uh, a fast helmet. The uh, the ones that were used in the uh, I know they're probably still used, but um, the Black Hawk Down uh, Delta Force. One of the guys that wear the black helmets, he has one of those, the real, the actual real ones. Um, anyways, this helmet, you know, I completely destroyed right out of the box. It already broke. Uh, this is the Matrix Fast Helmet, really cheap, 25 bucks. You know, I had to redo the strapping down here. Now it's just Velcro with a snapping piece. This doesn't look that bad. A little slap of Velcro on the back, a GoPro mount piece up here. And, uh, you know, some Velcro on the sides with uh, rails that I tore off that DPMS M4 carbine rifle back there. So, you know, two different kinds of helmets. I own both of them. I would just usually wear the Mids 2001. You know, um, where's my eye protection piece at? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Um, the, uh, the other piece of uh, the eye protection that I'll wear. I'm probably going to get a uh, Desert Locust goggles. Uh, I tried them out. They're really nice. Um, but for right now, I have uh, well, I have operator cut of goggles inside there. But, dude, I beat the crap out of them. I've torn up so much foam inside there. I just tore them off my head. Everything. I mean, I, they've just, you know, whatever. Um, so right now I have these, uh, these Valkyrie full seal glasses uh, with my own custom made strap in the back you know it'll do uh, these are actually really nice full seal they work out really well I like them I like clear lens stuff unless it comes to the desert locus which I tried on those look pretty nice when they're uh, you know sunblock lens inside there uh, these are nice actually I got these for free so free stuff I get a lot of stuff for free uh, for lower face protection, some of us will wear shemogs, but uh, most of us tend to have a lower mesh. So I used to have a lower mesh that was black, tainted, painted like tan and then black. It was all done up, you know, whatever I hated. I cut it just to protect my one mouthpiece. I didn't like it. You know, I went over to Warden Airsoft in Ohio and I got uh, this. It's a... Um, you know, I like it. It's a, it's the lower mesh protection. Yeah, whatever that says back there. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the M81 Woodland. This looks really nice. You know, no matter where I am or what I'm wearing, this will always work out. I like this a lot. This looks pretty sick. Of course, I haven't feared anyone yet with it. Uh, and then the next piece, I have a bunch of gloves. Actually, I guess I'll grab them right here. Um, I got three different pairs of gloves. I went through a lot. Uh, first pair, really destroyed. I won't even show them on camera. Um, and then this will be the second, this is the second pair I got. 
Uh, I got these from Tractor and Supply. Uh, they're hard knuckles. They're brown. They're size XL. And um, I really like them. For a really long time, I could use these a lot. These were really good. I mean, they, they, they are still good. They only look good when I'm wearing M81 Woodland Bow. Uh, just because of the color they are. These, I mean, they probably look good with ACU, but not with uh, not with AOR1. Uh, the next set of gloves that I got, because I got tired of the hard knuckles, so I got, of course, my my 5.11 Tacticals. These are not hard knuckles. Uh, these actually work out really well until, I, until someone shot out one of the threads of my fingers, and I had to get my mom, my mom to sew up my fingers, or, you know, sew up one of the gloves fingers so you know that that worked out pretty well uh, after sewed up still worked still fine i like these these were 50 bucks the tractor and supply hard knuckles for 25 uh then my my newest set right here my my oakley hard knuckle gloves i got these for 20 bucks off of someone um they're not real but they sure darn look real. So, you know, I'll fool a bunch of people with it being real. But I don't care if it's real or, or replica. So these are replicas. I got these for 20 bucks. Uh, really nice gloves right now. Work with any type of loadout I got. I mean, they, they just get the job done. For me, at least. For some other people, like, you know, special ops and foreign stuff, you just got to get all the real stuff. You know what? I, I got three, I went through four pairs of gloves. And I'm down to replica Oakley's, okay? I think I'm good to go. I'll just keep these in my ready bag. Uh, so anyways, that, you know, that concludes the video here. Uh, I don't have anything else. I guess I could show quickly. That does not include, conclude the video. Stand by. So, uh, uh, this is just my play carrier, my MOPC. Uh, got the, um, tank on the right side of it I've got a pouch on the the left side up here I'm going to apply a, um, you know, a quick draw mag pouch up there so this should work out well well it's crazy I ripped that anyways uh, it's it's a pretty bad vest that would just be like a buddy mag you know for someone to pull out quick uh, I I mean I could reach back there and grab it but it's better if someone else did I cleared up a lot of this. I don't wear anything on the right side, just so I can unholster and holster my pistol back up. Um, anyways, uh, so then on the front side, this is just for design right now on the front. I always change this since it's a wear a patch admin uh, pistol pouches. Uh, right now I have an OD green pistol pouch since I don't have any extra pistol mags for like any of my pistols. Except for the one I sold, I had three extra mags. I just, this is up there for design right now. Um, over on the left side here, I got a double M4 mag pouch carrying two mid caps, uh, both black. I don't know what brand they are. I just know I'm carrying three different brands of mags. Um, and then in the front here, I'm carrying, uh, well, yeah, I know this looks really stupid, but uh, there's three... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, three zip ties. And they're white. Whoa, white. You get to be seen from a distance. I don't care. Uh, white, you know, white zip ties. whoop de doo uh, But it's, I have a, um, they're all condor pouches. Um, I have a magpole in each thing. I have one King Arms mag inside here. I got a bunch more over there. I got like 20. And then the rest I have Elite Force mags. Uh, I got six of them here. Five Elite Force, one King Arms, two unknown mid caps, but they feed in my gun. Yay. Uh, I also got my, my lanyard adapter piece back here. That's on the right side. If I want to hold shit on my chest, I'll put it up there. If not, I'll put it on my hip and I'll just flip that piece around and it works. So, anyways, that's my plate carrier there. Um, I wish I could have my uh, the PA squad come down here and show them theirs. Maybe they will in a future video, but for right now, all you got is pictures. So, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, Alright, I think that just covers about everything. You know, shamogs, the pens, our loadouts always change. So, like, all my videos, 
a lot of that stuff I could have sold already. So, especially that zombie survival one. I've sold a lot of that. I'm wearing shorts in the video. Is that crazy? Probably, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so, you know, overall, I like my stuff. PA Squad, they got their stuff. Um, oh, and a quick thing I forgot to mention. Uh, one of our other guys uh, named Ian Clements, he's in another part of PA Squadron. Guys, um, his, his, uh, basically his loadout, he doesn't have a set camouflage yet, but the, um, he doesn't really have to. He's got a, uh, I don't know what kind of chest rig it is. He never really told me. He's going to buy a new one soon. But right now it's a tri-desert uh, chest rig. Um, but his primary gun, is a, it's a King Arms M4 carbine rifle. He uses that a lot. But the gun that he uses the most is his uh, M134. Uh, yeah, M134 gas or yeah co2 powered minigun mounted on a at4 atv four-wheeler so that's the reason why i can't really pour it into my house because it's a minigun with a shielded cage around it on a atv uh four-wheeler so you know i got a, i got a lot of pictures of that i'll even probably put up a video so you know i'll just edit it in there um i mean it's a great it's a great minigun. He built the minigun on his own. This guy is a tech. Next thing he's working on, well, it's either going to be a rocket that fires off. He can build that pretty easy. He built his own um, his, his own tracer mags. Five bucks. His own tracer mag. Works great. He's fine in the dark with a $5 tracer mag. I mean, this guy's the like tech of PA Squad's airsoft. He could take the gun, turn it into something else. He's awesome, all right? I mean, this guy doesn't even need to wear camo. Just get someone to drive the foiler. He's on top. Pow, 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 pow. Awesome. Um, next thing he's working on is he's going to build his own Polar Star. Uh, you know, he says, well, that's pretty simple. And I, I can believe it, too. I mean, this guy could be the next Polar Star airsoft invention. He can maybe outbeat Bingo. Uh, I don't know about that. But, uh, you know, I'll put a picture of him. You know, he's a great guy. You know, he's also one of my best friends, too. Uh, part of the team. He's not up on the page yet, though. So, you know, other than saying that, that was my big conclusion, talking about the minigun. Yeah, you know, it used to be electric. He stripped it apart and built uh, gas chambers for it. It's got the whole box mag for it, you know, mounted on the side. He holds down the buns. The barrel spin shoots out. Right now, the gas chamber is broke, so... I never got a legit video of him firing it, but he can fix that pretty easy. Right now he's over in England, so he's been over there for a few months now. So, you know, I mean, he's a great guy. I like him a lot. Uh, anyways, besides that, the minigun, awesome. Uh, you know, I'll have future videos coming up later. I'll try and get a lot more gameplay up of uh, the place I play at. And, uh, you know, as always, Operator Stunner signing out. You know, like, comment, subscribe. This is going to be a really long video. This is probably going to be part three. So, all right, see you guys later.